Hi, this is Rocky. So in this video, I'll show you our newest 4x4 HDMI switcher with the seamless switching and video wall function. And the resolution comes to 4K 30Hz. Now we have this set up. Basically right now you can see we have the uh, input source on the side and the matrix switcher, then the displays. It's a 2 by 2 video wall. So now we're going to start introduction about the input source. We have an Apple TV and a presentation unit. So basically we can have the uh, iPad wirelessly connected to this one, then up to the displays. And a Xbox and a laptop. You also to control the mattress switcher through the LAN cable. And here we got a mattress switcher. So this is the uh, front panel. And we can see we have a LCD screen on the this side, we can show the current status or check out the IP address, power indicator, IR, which is for this IR remote control. Then we have the input buttons and the country buttons. And here we have one key, which is to support the uh, video directly. If we press this key, like right now it's actually showing as a uh, two byte video wall. And if we hit this button, you go back to the uh, matrix mode it will just have each screen showing a single image. If we press this button again, it will show as uh, a video wall. And this is the front panel. So now we're going to check out the back, back side. So on the back side right now we can check out we have four HDMI inputs with the audio embedded. Like right now, HDMI input 4, we have the audio which is coming from this iPad. And then four HDMI outputs to the four displays on the side and on the output 4 we also have an audio embed to the speaker on the side and here's the here's the country button we have the ASUS 2 and line port now we're going to use in the uh, line port connect to this PC so we can use the web GI to control directly so now we're going to do we're going to show, use the uh, from panel to control these the video first so like right now it's actually showing as the video wall because this one is the once we hit this button it will automatically become a 2x2 two two video wall. So if we switch to a source 2, source 3, source 4, source 1, source 2, you can see the switching speed is actually quite fast and no black or blue screen during the switching. Switch one, four. If we hit this button, you will back to the mattress mode. Hit this button again, you will as the video wall. Okay, if we do not on the video wall, then we can just hit this button. Then we can press the front button to fully switching. Like the first two screen and output four. So this they use the even buttons for the switching, but we also can use this IR remote control. So on this IR remote control, basically we have the inputs, standby, and the function buttons, and the outputs. So like right now, if we're gonna have it showing as a video wall. Because now we actually have different source that is actually showing as a video wall. So we just switch to uh, input 1, input 2, input 4. It's all no problem. If we didn't want video wall, then we'll just hit the button again. Go back to the matrix mode. If we want to switch the uh, input 1 to the output 1, then press the enter button. Input one. Okay, got it. Or we're gonna switch the input two to all the outputs. Okay, so this is the uh, IR remote control, the control the matrix switcher. Except using the IR remote from push buttons, we also can use the web GUI. So now we already have this one connected. We have the line cable connected to the matrix switcher. So now we're going to use the uh, browser. 
So basically right now we already have this one to kind of through the whole system and we can just refresh the page then we can check out we have the uh, video matrix switcher and we have the Apple TV switch to this two port hit the enter button then we can check out and uh, for the input output we also can rename it like we can just use the right click then we can change this one as the uh, Willis presentation system we we'll just call it WSS. Then we click hit this one. Then you will choose success. Then we already have the name changed. We also can just switch to all the outputs. If we switch all the outputs, we just select the source, then all outputs. We don't need to uh, click the end button anymore. Okay. So this one is about the input and output switching. Here we also can have 20 presets. Like right now we already have uh, several presets saved before. This one is to show, we just slide the inputs, the presets, and hit the record button. If you wanna save as the presets, we just hit the save like we want to save at these presets, then we just click save. Then you should save success. If you want to change the name, also the same way, use the right click. Confirm. So now we got a new presets. So this one about the switching and the presets under the video matrix switcher. We also got a video wall. So like we did on the uh, from panel or we use the IR remote control, we also can just add the video wall here directly. So we just put add to row to columns and click apply. Then we have a video wall here. Next step we need to do we just drag the outputs to the video wall. Then right click to confirm. And we can check out the age if this window is shooting in yellow. That means this one will really select and confirmed. Two, right click. Three, right click. Four, right click. So now we have four windows are selected and confirmed. Now what we're going to do is we, if we want to switch the source, we just drag the input four. We can check out. It's already shooting as a video wall. So switch to the input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4, input 1 again. So we can see the switching speed is quite fast and it's actually super easy to make the video wall. Okay, so this one is about the video wall. And we also have the EDID complete go, which is we can uh, set up the EDID and also the uh, output settings we can set it as the fixed resolution or we can use the auto menu we also can set up the um, signal format hdmi or dvi because we mentioned before this metric switcher switch the uh, audio embedded and embedded so this part is so audio settings allow us to control the settings like the input 4, right now we have the uh, audio which is come from the iPad. So if I want to use the audio from the iPad instead of the uh, audio from this laptop, so we can just hit this uh, circle here, small circle here. It shoots to disable. Disable means disable the HDMI audio, but we are using the 3.5 audio. So now we already have switched. And we just switch to the input 4 to all the outputs okay. well, we also can switch from the video matrix switcher laptop or outputs okay so now we already have this one switched Input 4 to all the outputs. Input 4 to all the outputs. And now we just because this one is steering. Let's set up. So we use the uh, sound days we need to go with. The
use the headphones through the 3.5 audio. So now we can hear the sound is coming out from this speaker. This is the audio cable which is connected to the input 4. And if we want to switch back to the uh, original HDMI audio, then we just go to the audio setting. Then here we just enable it. So then now the audio is coming out from this. Okay, just mute playing. So the audio now is from the HDMI source. And also we got the device which is allows us to set up the IP address or the uh, RSTC2 parameters. And also here we can just lock the uh, front panels. So we can lock. Now we, we are not able to control by the front buttons. It's not working at all. If we click off again. So now we can do the controls. Switch to a different source. Switch to a different source. And we also got a user, which we can just change the login and the names here. Okay, so this is the uh, simply introduction about our newest. 4x4 HDMI switcher. We also have another mode which is 8x8. Thank you.